Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm going to do a Negro League game using a card and dice and Stratomatic's uh, Negro League players set that they that they have available on their website. Now, uh, they don't. The Stratomatic has not, at least to my knowledge, put out actual uh, Negro League teams. So what I did was I took the Negro League set that I have and I divided uh, all the players up in different teams. I think it came out to seven different teams. So I'm gonna play two of those teams against each other. It was a more or less random um, because I don't, you know, I mean, I don't really have any um, knowledge of what players were better than others and these Negro League players are basically all like the best Negro League players from uh, from that era. So every team has is really a, basically an all-star team. And um, I saw another channel, I forget the name, but there was another channel that did the same thing. He took his Negro League players, he divided them up into teams. Um, he, I think he planned to play a, a season with the teams. I don't know that he ever did. Um, I never saw that he did, but I had done that even before I had seen that video. I mean, I it just was logical to me. You've got a whole bunch of players um, at every position, and you know, just a ton of them. It just made sense to divide them up into teams. So today's game will be card and dice, and I will be doing the, um, I'll be, playing basically team number three against team number four. I didn't, I haven't even named the teams cause I didn't, I don't intend to, um, I didn't intend to, and I, and I don't have any plans to right now run a league um, of the teams. Partly again, because that would be very time consuming, but also I'm basically they're all all-star teams so you're just saying what's the best all-star team it's like would be like doing a league of seven or eight teams uh, all the greatest teams from the past in major league baseball putting them all in one league there might be some relevance to seeing you know who would be the best of those teams if you played them but just there's a whole bunch of logistical issues with doing that but today I will play one game that you can watch and um, for everybody's entertainment, because as I have not, I have not seen that anybody has actually done this, played a Negro League game even. So without any further ado, let's get on with this game. So here we are. We're gonna about to start the game. Pitching today, uh, team three will be the home team. I did a coin flip beforehand, and team three is the is the home team. And uh, pitching for team three today will be Smokey Joe Williams. I am using the basic. Uh, game and the basic side again as I always do in all these games I am also using the DH as I always do when I play these um, card and dice games and I love these cards I mean these are I highly recommend getting this set the card stock is great glossy cards but anyway we will start off Jimmy Lyons will be the first batter for team number four and he gets a 3-7, which is a single one to three. And that is going to be an out. It's a line out to second base. So there's one down. That brings up Martin DeHigo. He gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball to left. That's two away. And that brings up Willie Wells. And Willie Wells gets a 4-4, which is a fly to center. And the center fielder for team number three um, is Alejandro Ohms and he is a center field one and that's a 17 which I believe is an out but I will double check it and it is so team four goes down one two three 
Which brings up team number three. And uh, we will put Smokey Joe Williams off to the side and that will bring in team number three's pitcher or team number four's pitcher and that will be Frank Wickware. So leading off, and they have great names, some of these guys too. Leading off is Superman Pennington. And he gets a 311, which is a ground ball to second base. So he's out. Superman gone. That brings up Pop Floyd. Pop Floyd gets a 5-7, which is a triple one or a single. And that is going to be a single. So Pop Floyd is aboard. And he is a stealing A. He'll hold for right now. And that brings up Buck Leonard. And Buck Leonard gets a 4-4, which is a fly to center. The center fielder for uh, Team 4 is um, is Martin DeHigo, and he is a 1 as well. And that's an 18. That's a roll again. And that's a 6. He's out, 2 away. And that brings up Josh Gibson, the catcher. And we all know Josh Gibson very well. And that's going to be a... Home run for Josh Gibson. Two-run homer. Josh Gibson gives team number three a two-run lead. And that brings up Biz Mackey. And Biz Mackey gets a 5-7, which is a triple one or a single. That's going to be a single. He's aboard. And that brings up Rap Dixon. And Rap Dixon gets a 3-5, which is a ground to shortstop. And he is out. But... Not before uh, team number three gets a two, takes a 2 nothing lead in this game. We go to the top of the second. And uh, batting for team number four. Well, first we got to put Frank Wickware off to the side. We'll bring back in Smokey Joe Williams. And uh, that's going to bring up, uh, does it? Let's see. No. Uh, yes, it does. That'll bring up Turkey Stearns for team number four. And he gets a 4-6, which is a pop out to second, one away. Um, Chino Smith is up, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a single one to nine. And that's going to be instead a line out to first. There's two down. And that brings up Home Run Johnson, which is a really strange name. He grounds out, but that's a strange name for him because he has the 154 game scan for him is seven home runs in 455 at bats. So I'm not really sure where he got that nickname from. Um, but. Nevertheless, that is it. And so Wickware goes back out to the mound. Team 4 comes away with no runs there. And up for team number 3 is Alejandro Ohms. And he gets a 6-5, which is a home run 1 or a fly ball. And it's a home run! That's gone. So... Alejandro Ohms puts them on the board again for the third run. That brings up Bonnie Serrell. He gets a 5-2, which is a pop out to third. That brings up Frank Warfield, and Frank Warfield gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball to left, two away. And up steps Superman Pennington again, and he gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball to second. Team 3 gets another run off of Wickware, and they lead 3-0. We go to the top of the third. And, uh, let's see, where is the pitcher? Oh, yeah, put him in the wrong place. Smokey Joe Wood. Is back out, or not Smokey Joe Wood. Joe, Smokey Joe Wood played for the Red Sox. Smokey Joe Williams will go back out there. And Team 4 is at the plate. 
and they're going to have Spoonie Palm up with no outs to start the inning. 4-7 is a fly ball to center field, one away. That brings up Bill Monroe. He gets a 2-10, which is a triple 1-9 to nine or a double. And that's going to be a double. So one on at second with one out. And that brings up Bruce Petway. He gets a 6-12, which is a fly ball right field, two away. And up steps Jimmy Lyons, the top of the order again, and he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. So they don't get any runs, despite a little bit of a threat, getting a man as far as second base on a double. And Smokey Joe Wood goes back to the dugout, and Wickware is going to go back out there, although he is having a rough game. And that will bring up team number three to bat against him. And this is going to be Pop Floyd, the second batter, in their lineup. He gets a 4-10, which is a ground to third base. The third baseman for team number four is Bill Monroe, and he's one. And that's a 20. I believe that is a roll again. It is. And that's an 18. That's going to be a roll again. And that's a 20. It's a roll again. And that's a 19. That's a roll again. You couldn't repeat this if you wanted to. That's a 5. That'll be an out. One away. Buck Leonard is up. He gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a strikeout. Two away. And that brings up Josh Gibson, who homered last time up, and he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. So they take their 3-0 lead to the top of the fourth, where Team 4 will bat. And Smokey Joe Williams back out there. Martin DeHigo is up. He gets a 4-4, which is a fly to center. And uh, Team 3's center fielder, I believe we did this, is a 1. And that's a 16. He's out. One away. Willie Wells is up. He gets a 3-6, which is a homer. 1 to 11. And that's instead a double. So you got a man at second. One away. And Turkey Stearns up. And he gets a 1-8, which is a single double asterisk and knocks in a run. So Team number is on the board and that brings up Chino Smith and he gets a 410 which is a ground to third and uh, team three's third baseman is a one that's Bill Monroe been down that road before and that's gonna be an out double play right yes it is so that is an out double play end of the inning but um, they do get one run team number four does and make the score three to one so it is still it's still a good game and that means Frank Wickware will still go out there he does have a zero inning in his behind his you know under his belt and uh, that brings up uh, for team number three that brings up Biz Mackey he gets a 3-3 three, three, which is a walk so he's aboard. That brings up Rap Dixon. Rap Dixon gets a 411, which is a fly ball to right. And the right fielder for team number four is a one. So that's an out. One away. That brings up Alejandro Ohms. He gets a 6-4, which is a line out to shortstop, two away. And that brings up Bonnie Serrell, and he gets a 5-7, which is a triple one single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. So runners are at the corners with two down. And Frank Warfield is up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. So no runs come in for Team 3. They maintain their slim two-run lead as we go to the top of the fifth. 
and uh, Smokey Joe Williams still going out to the mound. Now his average, his Smokey Joe Williams, and we might as well do this, 154 game scan was that he on average would go 21 and 11 with a 230 earned run average in 33 starts and pitch 290 innings. So he is durable. And that's going to bring up team number four to bat. And that's going to bring up Home Run Johnson. To bat against him, he gets a 3-8, which is a single. So man aboard, no outs. And Spoonie Palm is up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a double one to 13. So now they're, they're breaking through on him. They get a double out of that. Runners are at second and third with nobody out. And that brings up Bill Monroe, and he gets a 4-2, which is a fly ball center field B. That scores one run for team number four. And that brings up Bruce Petway, and he gets a 5-8, which is a strikeout, two away. And that brings up Jimmy Lyons, and Jimmy Lyons gets a 2-8, which is a single. And you got to believe they're going to... Try to send, maybe send home run Johnson. 1 to 16, they will try to do that. And that is a 9. So that will score the tying run. And then uh, that brings up Martin DeHigo. And DeHigo gets a 6 4, which is a fly ball to left field. But it is a tie game. As two runs come out come in for team number four to tie the game at three apiece and what looked like it would be a runaway by team number three turns into a game as Wickware goes back out to the mound. Now Wickware his 154 game scan was 13 and six or 13 and eight a 13 and eight record with a 230 earned run average. In 25 starts he pitched 196 innings on average so you know he's pretty durable and can stay out there for this for the uh for the long haul and that'll bring up team number three to try to take the uh, go back ahead in the game as they bring up superman pennington in the top of the order and that's a four seven which is a ground ball to second base the second baseman for them is home run johnson he's a second base two and that is a 16 that may be an error and it is a one base error. So there's a man aboard. And that's the first error of the game. With Pop Floyd up. Let's see. Yep, Pop Floyd. And he gets a 6-9, which is a walk. So now Wickware is in trouble again. And they're going to get some action up in the bullpen. And that is going to be Bullet Joe Rogan. So Bullet Joe Rogan is up in their bullpen. And Buck Leonard is up at the plate. And he gets a 5-10, which is a catcher card. The catcher for um, Team 4 is a 3 defensively. And that's a 19. 19 and 3 is roll again. 17 and 3 is a wild pitch followed by foul out. So runners go to second and third with only one out now. And so the infield is going to come in. And that brings up Josh Gibson. Maybe they'll walk him and pitch to Biz Mackey. Although not. They're not going to do that. So the infield's in. 1-9. That's a ground ball B. So that, let's see, I think that... Ground ball B with the infield in. The batter is safe. Runner on third is out. So we've got this situation with two down. And that brings up Biz Mackey. And the reason I didn't walk Gibson is because Biz Mackey hit 353. So you don't want that with the bases loaded. And he gets a 2-5, which is a single double asterisk and knocks in two runs. Or no, knocks in one run. 
sorry, excuse me. One run comes in, and that brings up Raph Dixon, and he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. Team four is batting, and that is uh, Willie Wells is batting for team four. And he would be batting against um, Smokey Joe Williams. Yeah, I definitely messed up. But we're, this is how we're going to do it. 1-7 is a fly ball to left. One away. Turkey Stearns is up. That's a 1-9, which is a walk. So there's one man on. One out. Geno Smith gets a 1-6, which is a single double asterisk. And now I feel bad because I messed up somehow and team number four has a rally going here. Home Run Johnson gets a 4-5 which is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop for their team is a, a 1. And that is going to be a double play. And that is, that's an out and they're out of the inning. A double play out of the inning. So... Team number four. See, I I was keeping things on the wrong side. But anyway, team number four gets no runs there. Um, we go to the bottom of the seventh with team number three batting. And now on the mound will be Bullet Joe Rogan. He'll be pitching to Superman Pennington at the top of team number three's lineup. That is a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout, one away. Pop Floyd is up, and he gets a 3-5, which is a triple 1-5 to five or a double. And that's going to be a double. So, man on second with one away. Buck Leonard gets a 1-7, which is a walk. So we got the we've got two guys on, only one out for team number three with Josh Gibson at the plate, and he gets the three eight, which is a walk and loads the bases. So with the bases loaded, Bullet Joe Rogan was not the he was not the answer. Biz Mackey steps up, he gets a five five, which is a strikeout, two away, or maybe he was. And that brings up Rap Dixon. And Rap Dixon gets a 1-6, which is a double. And is going to knock in two runs for team number three. And that brings up Alejandro Ohms. And he gets a 3-11, which is a single and knocks in another run. So that's going to be three runs in the inning. And Bonnie Sewell is up. And that's a 5-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman is a two. That's home run Johnson. And that's going to be a single. So that's four runs this inning. And that brings up Frank Warfield. And he gets a 2-7, which is a single. And loads the bases back up. They're going to go station to station. They got a big lead. Superman Pennington is up. He gets a 4-5, which is a ground ball C. So... Four runs come in for team number three, and they take an even bigger lead now. They've got a six, seven, eight to th eight to three lead, top of the eighth. And you can well imagine Bullet Joe Rogan may not be going back out there. But we are now looking at team number four batting against Smokey Joe Williams again. Smokey Joe Williams now, I mean, he's got a big lead now, a five-run lead. What is it? Six, eight, four, six, eight to, eight to three. Yeah, five-run lead. And uh, Pop Floyd is up, right? No, I... No, I grabbed the wrong team again. All right. Spoonie Palm is up. Team number four at the plate. Against 
Smokey Joe Williams, yes. That is what we should be looking at. So 4-6 is a pop-out to second, one away. That brings up Bill Monroe. He gets a 2-10, which is a triple one to nine or a double. That's going to be a double. Bruce Petway is up. He gets a 5-11, which is a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman for team number three is a one. That's Buck Leonard. And that may be an error. And where did my chart go? First base one and a roll of 12 is a one base error. So runners are going to go to the corners. That brings up Jimmy Lyons. And Jimmy Lyons gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball B. That is the second out, but it will force a run in for team number three, which, or team number four, which they desperately needed. And Martin DeHigo is up, and he gets a 1-7 which is a home run one or a fly ball. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field, and he's out. But they did get one run off of Williams. And now the score is 8-4 to four as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Team number three batting with Pop Lloyd up at the plate. And now Rube Foster is on to pitch for team number four. And he gets a 3-8, which is a single. That brings up Buck Leonard. Buck Leonard gets a 5-7, which is a fly ball to right field one away. Josh Gibson's up. He gets a 6-6, which is a line out to short, two away. And that brings up Bismackie. And he gets a 3-10, which is a single. Two runners on for team number three with two outs, and Rap Dixon up, and he gets a 3-7, which is a walk and loads the bases. His team number three is relentless here. And Alejandro Ohms is up. He gets a 6-8, which is a single, and knocks in one run. Bonnie Sewell's up, and he gets a 3-6, which is a single one to 13. And that actually is a single, and knocks in a second run for the team. And Frank Warfield's up. He gets a 5-6, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. So they had originally taken out Frank Wickware, thinking Wickware was not pitching well, but neither of their relievers has actually pitched very well either. Um, I think, what, two runs came in there? I'm going to say two. And then we'll go back and check it on the video and write it if it's wrong. But anyway, it's a huge lead. It is now four, six, eight, ten to four. So there's going to be six runs needed right here off of Smokey Joe Williams. You have to believe that that won't happen. Willie Wells is the first batter. He gets a one seven, which is a fly ball to left, one away. Turkey Stearns is up. He gets a one eight, which is a single. That brings up Chino Smith. He gets a 210, which is a single. And up steps home run Johnson. He gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for team number three is a one. And he, that's a nine. That's going to be a double play. So they do not get the runs that they needed. And uh, the final score ends up being at least two, four, eight, yes, at least 10 to four and maybe even was 11 to four. Regardless though, um, I don't think it matters. I also think I had team four bat twice in a row at one point and again, that really only would have played to their advantage and helped them and did, apparently didn't. But anyway, we will go back. I'll make the commensurate changes when I write down everything as the game goes along. 
But that I hope you enjoyed that um, Negro League game between uh, some of the great Negro League uh, players um, divided up into two different teams and going head-to-head -head in what ended up being a 10-4 final score. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.